I love to be involved in things that people can't imagine yet. The work I do with fashionable technology is a reflection of my own personality and my own personal interest. In my first book, I defined fashionable technology as an intersection between design, fashion, science, and technology. There are consumer products out there, for example, the Adidas My Coach shoes that measure how fast you go, where you go, when you play soccer. The same with the Nike Plus fuel band, where people can check how many calories they might use up during the day. But you can also uh, see it in the fashion industry, where you have products that are changing color through different uses of inks, the light up dresses you see all over the place. So when I personally dream about fashionable technology, I dream about the ability to customize your own garments. In the morning, it has to be very tame and black and you walk into the office. In the afternoon, you have some drinks with friends and it becomes sort of like golden. And then in the evening, you really hang out and do some hip hopping or something, whatever people do right now. And it becomes pink. I hope in the future my uh, textile understands the humidity in New York and uh, has a cooling property that will cool me, but as soon as I hop onto the subway, it actually stops cooling me so that I'm not getting sick. But at the same time, the garment is looking fabulous. My life is split between being a very pragmatic scientist and then, of course, there's the creative in me, the playful person, the person that wants to have fun, wants to go out there, doesn't really like a lot of limits. I'm absolutely addicted to snowboarding. What I really, really like is actually go out of bounds. Out of bounds means no slope. It's terrain that is fresh nature, so there's no signage. The only constraint you have is the one you definitely know, that's nature, that's the mountain. You take your snowboard up on your backpack, you hike up with your snowshoes. It can take four or six hours to go up, and then uh, you have one run down. Freedom. In Out of Bounds, snowboarding, you have to know the terrain. You have to really understand snow conditions, the sun, the temperature, the humidity. You have parameters that are set. It's the same in fashionable technology because there are certain aspects of biology or chemistry that you cannot change. But with both, there is always a way to find around those parameters. You sort of like know the line, but man, there is this big tree right there. You can't take that line. So you have to modify it, you have to change it. When you then start actually going down, it goes and I love it. <laughs> 